and gentlemen, this is Edgar, and today we're doing a, a demo. It's a loop demo. We're going to call it Bad Loop, Good Loop. And uh, right now we're doing the Bad Loop, and uh, what we're demonstrating is we're demonstrating a signal-to-noise characteristic of a small loop versus a larger loop. Now the first loop I'll be testing is a 8 by 11 loop. It has 12 turns of 14 gauge wire. So we'll uh, get ready to do our our uh, our recording. Um, I guess I better tr test this to make sure it'll go into record. So let's try that. Okay. Stop. Okay, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, capture an audio file, probably about a minute or so, from the small loop, and we'll call that the bad loop. And what I'll do is I'll record it on the on the on the Canon. Oh wait a minute, Olympus. My camera's Canon. The voice recorder is an Olympus. So we're gonna take a we're gonna take a, a capture on the Olympus, and it'll be the small loop. And wh what I'll do is in post-production I'll mix the audio from this with the uh, audio from the camcorder and uh, we'll do left and right channels so they'll be completely separate and therefore uh, I'll probably put the voice recorder on the right channel and what that'll do is that'll give just pure raw VLF signal so that you can hear the the uh, signal to noise. This is the dining room table inside of a house and the loop knows pretty deeply at this location uh, the main reason is I'm several feet from any wires in the house that carry any, any amount of current that amounts to anything. So it's it's a remarkably quiet location for inside of the house. So uh, I manually sync these up between the camcorder and the voice recorder. And because we're not actually doing any uh, video of lips moving, the exact sync is not critical. So. Uh, I'll get ready and uh, start audio at three, two, one, go. Do about a minute's worth. And it should be possible to hear a degree of hiss behind the spirits and the AC hum on this one. And then when I do the second loop, you'll be able to hear the hum and the spirit and, and little or no hiss. And we'll see what happens. Okay, we're getting close to a minute. And audio capture in three, two, one, stop. Okay, got a good start and stop. Now, if you'll bear with me, please, I'll pause the camcorder and change the loop over and re the bigger loop. Sorry about that. What we have to do is uh, one thing I really wanted to show, and it's important, is how the gain and loading controls on the VLF Scout can actually be used to evaluate the antenna or the loop system. So here you see the gain is turned up past halfway. The loop loading, we have a problem. I'm not recording any samples. so. We get us a sample going here. Start audio in three, two, one. Now the one thing about the scout receiver is by the positions of the controls, the loop loading, the loop loading control, and the gain control, you can actually evaluate your loop. 
This loop's a little small, and it requires more than halfway on the gain, and that's where the amp noise comes from. So a stronger loop, you can turn the gain way on down to about 9 or 10 o'clock and cut down the amp noise. Now one thing I did find out, because I was speaking with a person who was real good on E-field receivers, and it's kind of ironic, but it seems like a thousand times, gain, voltage gain of a thousand times is the practical highest. And uh, the E-field units are fixed gain at about a thousand, and my unit is variable gain. But my, mine starts out at a gain of 100 and can be turned up to 10,000. But when you get mine past 1,000, it gets noisy too. So an inferior loop requires a lot of gain. This is probably, oh, a few thousand times, and therefore it's noisy. And that's how the gain and the loop loading work. Loop loading is handy because it can reduce out-of-band interference, especially ultrasonic signals from compact fluorescence, neon sign transformers, those newfangled solid state transformers that run at 20 kilohertz, uh, TV horizontal frequency and, and other things that are just barely above the natural radio band, that loop loading can help get rid of it. So uh, that's pretty much it. This time we'll actually pause and I'll, uh, and I'll uh, change loops. Oh my. Well, we didn't take a sample. I guess I'd really better just leave it recording and uh, actually take a sample. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and take a sample in three, two, one, start. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate the controls again. Loop loading. Okay, the volume overall and the highs come down. You want to use just enough loop loading to at least take the volume down a few dB. Now gain, this is a good level setting. Our spirits are from lightning about 250 miles out. So you can see we're already above halfway and we're already into a few thousand times gain or a little bit more amp noise than we need. So, uh, Hopefully if my ADD hasn't thrown me off too much, we can actually uh, pause the camcorder and switch loops. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll stop the audio capture in three, two, one, stop. Now I'm using the 15 by 15 loop and uh, we'll swing it around here. And uh, we'll show the control settings and also start up an audio capture. Okay, we'll begin audio capture in three, two, one, start. And as you can see, the game control setting is a little bit lower. And uh, the loop loading, you know, if somebody's using a power tool or an appliance, it's probably a power tool because they only operate for a few seconds at a time. So you see a remarkable cleanup of the noise floor, and you can hear the, hear the tool. It just came out of nowhere, and the reason is because noise floor drops because we're using the larger loop. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I can't do much evaluation here because I'm only on a headset and I can't use high volume. So when I go into the into the studio, ten loop branch my little bedroom in the studio. When I go into the studio and remix the sound, then we can get a good idea of what's going on. But the bigger loop 14 gauge wire wound tight in that 15 by 15 frame and uh, 15 turns of it. So that's a pretty serious loop. It's got some weight to it. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do a wrap on this one. Go ahead and terminate audio pickup. 
three, two, one, stop. And uh, go into post production and do it to it. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a really good day. Come back and see me again. I'll be up to no good. You know me. Ten loop ranch is where it's happening. And if it ain't, you can go somewhere else where nothing's happening.